today I am going to do a interesting video, a little bit different from what I usually do. As you may have noticed, I haven't really been posting that much about Redbubble lately, if at all, and I'm going to show you the reason for that today. The one thing I'll do as usual is we'll take a look at my statistics. It has been a while since I last checked, but it looks like they haven't changed too terribly much. So I still have about 485 followers for my Redbubble. My designs have received about 6,200 favorites. And since I opened the shop in June of 2020, so <laughs> wow, four years ago, I have sold a grand total of 467 products. And if we scroll down here to my earnings summary, you'll see why I haven't been making all that many videos about Redbubble. I don't know what exactly happened with this whole nosedive off a cliff thing here. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I had a pretty good month last year in August, then it dove off a cliff. This thing always confuses me. It says July and August for the same thing. Uh, I guess that's because of the way it pays you. But anyways, I had a good month in, I guess, July? and got paid in August, so I got the 67 bucks, it took a nosedive off a cliff, only got 12 bucks, 30 bucks, went back up to 63, that was fabulous, little bit, uh, 18 bucks here. And then starting with this past year, I've hardly been making any sales at all every month. It's been really abysmal, as you can see. Um, especially these like January, April, just a few dollars. April, a little bit better. So far, June has been the best with about 30 bucks. And then another 20 bucks or so. That's not because I'm making a ton of sales. It's more so because the item that happened to sell just had a higher margin. Um, and as you can see so far in August, I know it's only been like, 10 days or so, but we're still sitting at zero dollars, so yeah, it really hasn't been going that well. And if I scroll down here to my audience traffic sources, you can see that it doesn't really match up with my sales volume. In 2023, was generally going up. Here, it definitely took a nosedive but the number of sales I made doesn't really seem to correlate too much with the amount of traffic that I got. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's definitely a lot smaller than last year. Maybe I could just speculate that some of it has to do with the absolute ridiculous amount of AI art that has just flooded this website and diluted everything, making it harder for actual artists like me to have my work seen on this website in between all the AI work, but either way, it's been pretty abysmal. I thought I'd go over here and show you some of the items that have still been selling for me here and there. It's mostly going to be stickers. So as you can see, we've got glossy sticker socks, which was interesting. Um, another sticker, another sticker, 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 throw pillow which was nice. You can see this is where I got that $30 total earlier. It's because I sold six of the same throw pillow and then I also sold one pullover hoodie and that was a nice $10. So that's where the actually decent-ish amount of $30 came from. And then before that we just got sticker, magnet, poster, another poster, sticker, so not really like a high ticket sort of item with huge margins. I mean, stickers do have decent margins considering how small the product is and everything and the cost and whatnot, but yeah, so this is, this is basically what I've been selling. It's always nice to get multiple of the same design in a sticker because then you get a slightly larger margin. Um, I have sold a couple of pet bandanas, which was interesting. Not a huge margin on those though. And then back to stickers, the occasional throw pillow, socks, stickers, a scarf, which was interesting. 
And of course, throw blankets are always nice because those come with a higher margin. So that, that's kind of the mix of products that have been selling for me every once in a while. Yeah, but honestly, since this past year hasn't really been doing much at all for me, I honestly don't think I'll be making very many, if any, Redbubble videos in the future just because I don't feel like there's anything particularly interesting or exciting to share and I think going forward I'm probably going to be devoting all of my time to Amazon KDP, so self-publishing books on Amazon, as well as my Etsy shops. I will be sharing a bit more about those I think in the future because I did start a a new Etsy shop in addition to my seasonal Etsy shop and after months of work that one is finally starting to get a little bit of traction so I might make some videos about those in the future in addition to the Amazon videos. So if that does sound like something you might be interested in watching then please keep an eye out and I will make sure to post some videos on that to YouTube. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope to see you in one of the future ones. Until then, happy designing!